Can I have my notes, please? Thank you, Katie. You can see by the title, or as you should probably see, this is a response to a debate that happened um, at Notre Dame between Craig and Harris. Craig argued from the viewpoint of a Christian, and um, Harris argued from the viewpoint of an atheist, kind of, although he has some very different ideas that maybe not all atheists would have. I suppose you could say that about um, Craig, too. He might not be. Well, no, I think he is your typical Christian. Um, but the, the question that they were debating was, is the foundation of morality natural or supernatural? You look at me, I'm so prepared. I took notes, most of which I probably won't even um, address because it kind of goes away from the original like question of the debate, which is funny because that's exactly what happened during their debate. And it was basically, it was basically the atheist guy that kept seeming to change the subject. Um, that's what it seemed like to me anyways, and that's what um, the Christian guy was saying too. Anyways, uh, yeah, focus, let's focus on the question. So, um, the Christian guy, Craig, basically, um, he was saying, if God exists, then we have a sound foundation for objective moral values and duties. If God does not exist, then we don't have a sound foundation for objective moral values and duties. And um, the Harris guy, he's basically saying it's not necessary to um, have a belief in God to have these objective moral values and duties that um, because of biological evolution and social conditioning, basically just being in a part of a community and um, learning from our parents and learning from each other and um, and evolution that's where we get um, our morality from our objective morality that somehow we always know what is right and what is wrong not because um, a god deems it so um, but because um of how it relates to our well-being. He used that word a lot, well-being. Um, I like to use the word beneficial. Um, so he's like saying that healthy people, mentally healthy people, intelligent people, um, can all agree that it's wrong to mutilate a child. And the reason that we all share this objective morality is because it is not good for the well-being of our society, of us as human beings, to allow for that sort of thing. And that makes sense to me. Let me wait for the car to go by. Goodbye, car. All right. <laughs> or bugs. Um, and the car made me forget what I was talking about. Er. Um. So yeah, and then, oh, okay, yeah, and then Craig, you know, he's saying that, he kept saying that Harris is just defining how it is that we come to um, acknowledge this morality, that um, objective morality, like he says, the, the question is, you have to... Um, figure out like exactly what is the source like where is all of this coming from and he argues that it is coming from God and that without God there is no objective morality and that um, you can argue that you know just <laughs> that people can do whatever they want and it really doesn't matter and that yeah um, I'm somewhere like my personal belief I'm somewhere like right in between all of that I think that it's very useful for many people to believe in a God and believe that it is God that tells them what is right and what is wrong, especially if they lack the ability to figure it out for themselves about what is right or is wrong. If they need the Ten Commandments, all are, are probably some commandments that to me are irrelevant. 
but you know, thou shalt not murder, if they need these laws to keep them in line so we don't go as a human race, then that's a good thing. There is nothing wrong with that kind of belief system as long as it's doing you some good. Uh, Harris would say there's a lot wrong with that belief system. Uh, basically because you have a God who <laughs> goes outside his own moral laws that he set down because, you know, God is telling um, Abraham, I believe it was, to, you know, go kill your son. Um, of course, you know, the angel stopped him from doing that. Um, but that anything that God does is good. Um, but because God has done, at least in the Old Testament, a lot of horrible things, that it's hard to look at that and call it good. So that's kind of where the debate got off, um, off topic, like it's getting off right now. Um, but, right. Um, and then I don't really agree with Harris either, although I can totally understand the viewpoint and have a lot of respect for the viewpoint that we have objective morality because we're looking at what um, is going to benefit our well-being, what is good for the majority of us. Um, I respect that idea a lot because to me it makes a little bit more sense than the other idea that Craig has. Um, but my own view of it, and it's actually, it's kind of a scary view to have because if you don't have your own good sense of, like, morality, um, you could just really mess things up in the world. But I think that morality is subjective. Um, I think that we have the desire, most of us, to say that it's objective and not subjective because um like mutilating children you know I could <laughs> I could, I personally could never say that is right um in any world view but on the other hand I know that and Harris would argue that um people that might think it's right or are um you know, mentally <laughs> handicapped, mentally ill, or just not intelligent. And that probably would be the case, but I would say there are probably scenarios um, in our history or in the future where, um, as horrible as it is, the majority of people would find a good argument to say that it is right. And because people are able to change their mind and change their opinions, that's why I say morality is subjective. Um, whether we like it or not, that's what I think that it's subjective. Um, but, you know, thankfully we have a pretty good system where we have government and we have our rules and consequences. Um, and there's natural consequences, too, that keep us in a good place, in a good place where um, our actions for the most part in society are going to help and not harm us as a human race. So far anyways. Excuse me as I part before I start recording. Or start considering it the first, yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> so, Did you just hear that? <laughs> that was like the strangest bird ever. Um, okay, yeah. All right. <laughs> God, I'm gonna have to do lots of editing. Um, let's start all over, shall we? Um, states that... <laughs> it's okay, Bear. Okay. <laughs> Cut. Craig is a Christian Apollo, um, Jettist? Apologetic? Apologetics, Christian apologetics. 